We're in the bustling capital city of Vietnam. Welcome to Hanoi. Okay, so we're going to start our day this morning by heading for the famous Vietnamese egg coffee. So we're in the famous note coffee shop, which is known for its post-it notes that you write on and you leave. If you're tall, it's not good here, but as you can see, I'm five foot five, so I'm perfect. But I don't think I'll squeeze into this area in here to go sit down. Oh, I think you might. I mean, hey. <laughs> oh. But there's apparently another two floors, so let's go up higher. Okay, so this really is the cutest little cafe. We're right on the top level and we're overlooking the lake right now having a coffee, which is awesome. There's a little basket that has your post-it notes and your pen in, so we're definitely gonna leave a post-it note before we go. Most importantly, the egg coffee is here and we're gonna give it a try. Here it goes. I've got that, I've found this now. So the waiter came back up to do a check back, which was really cute, and he said that this tastes to him like egg custards. That is probably the closest description, actually. So if you've had an egg custard, that is what it tastes like. What are you going to stick it, John? And stick it over one that somebody's wrote that's a bit offensive if there's children that come here. So we're going to change that into a positive. So let us know on Instagram or Facebook if you find it. So next stop is the famous train street. Now this has been closed by the authorities apparently and we may struggle getting in. Apparently there's security like on the gate and you have to be invited in by a cafe owner. But we'll see how easy it is to actually get in now. So we've made it and there are no police, no security, no nothing. And the people are just walking down the tracks. Apparently you shouldn't be doing that, but people are. So the cafe that I had in mind was the Railway Cafe. We couldn't get in there because the tables are full. There are only a couple of tables outside. However, we are just directly opposite it. So it's not really that much of an issue. We've just ordered two drinks. I've gone for a lemon juice and John's gone for a beer. The Railway Cafe do have a timetable for the trains. There is one scheduled at 11.30, so we'll see if it turns up on time. Apparently the government shut this street down on accounts of safety uh, in June or July 2022. So we thought it'd be a bit of a chance coming down here, however we did manage to slip through before the police came and put a barrier up. So we've got here about an hour before and the police are now genuinely turning tourists away and telling them to go elsewhere. Which isn't good for the cafes really, but we've managed to get in just in time it seems. What an amazing experience that was. We've never been that close to a moving train before. It was literally millimetres away, like we had to step back when we were filming. Yeah, crazy. So that train was about 25 minutes late, so it came about 5 to 12. But it was such a great experience and I'm so glad that we've been able to do it. After all the excitement of the train, we have worked up an appetite. So we are going to go get some bam mi now, which is basically like a Vietnamese sandwich. So we're going to go check out a place now. Another street, uh, another death trap. You just have to take your opportunity here when it comes and, and go. Uh, right, I'm just about there I think. 
That's one navigated. Bami 25 was recommended by numerous guides and it was definitely worth the hike. They had an extensive menu with plenty of options, although slightly more expensive than other places, but the quality of the food here was great. This place does get very busy and we did queue for around 15 minutes and had to get our Bami's to take away, which came nicely packaged in a box. We ordered two Bami's, I ordered honey chicken and John ordered beef and the total cost was 85,000. This place is definitely worth checking out when you visit Hanoi. So this is the famous Beer Street in Hanoi and it's probably a bit of an Instagrammable place as well. If you look at the amount of people that are dressed up and taking photos, it really is quite picturesque so I can see the appeal. However, it's not alive yet, it does come alive on a night. Trying to find some good food. So we're here for some bun cha. Now we've never tried this dish before, so we don't really know what to expect. We just know it's a bit spicy, it's like in a broth. It's got some carrots in, got some else, we've got some chilies, some fresh garlic, and that looks like a bit of mint and lettuce, and some noodles as well. So I think we're just gonna get stuck in and see what we think of it. Mmm. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, I need some more of this. Let's try some of the broth. Oh, that's really sweet. It's got a, a hint of sour. Oh, wow. Yeah, this has been a really, really good choice. You cannot come to Hanoi and not try the famous Beer Hoi. It's made fresh every day and it contains no preservatives, so it only has a 24 hour shelf life. It's also the cheapest beer you will ever buy and possibly the cheapest beer in the world at 27 pence. Let's go get some. <laughs> Oh. Oh. This is a really good bartender. He just sits there and pulls his beer and he just keeps topping it up. You just need to take the glass back and he keeps filling it. Away. But this is my favourite beer hoy place that we've found so far in Hanoi. Apparently, beer hoy isn't that popular in the south of uh, Vietnam. So, if you come to Hanoi, you've got to try it. This one at this place will cost you 8000 for a beer which is about 27 pence. It's quite a light beer. It's very similar to a cause light, but it's not gassy. And I think it sits around the 3% mark. So, cheers. And obviously, if you know me by now, you'll know that I don't normally drink beer, but even I've got one, it's that good. So we are just on our way now to book some tickets for something really cool, and that is the Water Puppet Show. Okay, so we've got our tickets. Today there are three different showings, so we've gone for the earliest one. You've got three ticket prices, so it depends how close you want to be to the front as to how much you pay for your ticket. We've gone for the very front row, so our tickets have cost 200,000. You can also hire an audio headset so you can understand the show in your language, and they are at an additional cost of 50,000 per person. So for the price, I do hope that this show is good. Now we do fund ourselves with everything that we show you because we're not sponsored in any way. 
But if you do fancy supporting us, there's a PayPal link below. You can buy us a coffee or contribute towards the channel. Big shout out as well to Esther and Hillary. They have used that PayPal link and have contributed. So thank you very much. We do have about an hour to kill, so we've decided to have a walk around Wang Kiad Lake, I think it's pronounced, and there's a temple here too, so we're going to check that out while we're here. So to go over the bridge and to the temple you do have to buy a ticket and it's 30,000 for an adult so John's just buying the ticket. After a walk around the lake we managed to squeeze in a quick ice cream stop before the show. Okay, it's time for the water puppet show. The water puppet show really was interesting and we gained a great insight into the Vietnamese culture. We definitely recommend doing this when you visit. Sadly, that is the end of our time in Hanoi, but join us next time where we head to Hoi An. As always, thank you so much for watching and if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button and consider subscribing so you don't miss the next episode.